Alrighty guys, welcome back to uh, part four of our little weather app tutorial in Python. So in the last video, we wrote our weather class to query the internet um, for some weather data. And in this video, we are going to be using the controller to display that uh, information on the screen. So let's go ahead and get rid of uh, this testing code from last time in controller. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna update the variables for for this kind of stuff so that it shows up on screen. Let's go ahead and get into it. So um, in our controller, we're gonna open up our controller file and now from model.weather, we can import uh, weather and the controller is going to have its own weather object that it can read data from. So we'll say self.weather um, is going to be equal to weather. And uh, we're just going to have a small handful of functions here. Um, so let me let me open up our app application once again. So we are going to need um, one big function to update every piece of information in the GUI that needs to be updated. And then there are going to be some smaller functions that are going to be um, basically handlers. So if you press search, then it'll search whatever you've typed here. Um, there will be one, if you press Fahrenheit, it'll listen for that and uh, press or search or get the appropriate uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so here in my controller file, we just need to go below our main function and we're gonna write um, actually only two methods for now. So we're gonna say def um, update GUI and this is going to be the big boy. And below it, we'll say def handle um, button search. And uh, we are going to be able to generate some search suggestions at a later point, um, perhaps in the next video. So we'll also say handle uh, combo search or combo location whatever that was called, I forgot. Um, but we're not going to be dealing uh, with that in this video because the code's not written yet. So for this update GUI, let's go ahead and do that first. So we, I'm gonna pull over this view. We need to update, every time we update the GUI, we need to update each of these variables based on our current weather, um, whatever is in this weather function here. So um, pretty simple actually, all we have to do is just say, for example, if we want to change the temperature, we'll just say self dot view dot var temp. And remember, we've already created our view object from before, so var temp. And to set its value, we just set uh, self dot weather dot get current temperature f. And don't worry about the Fahrenheit Celsius thing. We will update that uh, at the end here. So, and then self.view.varlocation.set self.weather.getLocation. Easy as that. We did all the heavy lifting in the last video. And then we could say self.view.varcondition dot set self dot weather dot get condition text self dot view dot var feels like self dot uh, weather dot get feels like Fahrenheit and rem uh, once again we'll we'll take care of that in a moment self dot view dot var wind Speed dot set self dot weather dot get wind speed and self dot view dot var wind dir dot set self dot weather dot get wind direction. Okay, I think that's all of them. 
So then uh, to handle the Fahrenheit Celsius thing here, uh, we'll actually say if self.view dot var um, dot var unit is equal to one, then that's where we're gonna move this uh, var temp and this var feels like. And I just realized that this should say var get feels like here. So, and then otherwise, so this is in the case where it equals two, then we will do the same thing, except the only difference being instead of get temp f, we'll get temp c. And go ahead and clean this up here. And so that is looking pretty good for now. So let's go ahead and call our self dot update GUI. So it's very important that this update GUI gets called after the weather, um, because obviously if we have no weather object, we can't do this self dot weather dot get location. So, but then we can call self date update GUI based off our default, whatever we, we put in here. And, um, well, let's just see uh, how well this works so far. So let's go to main.py, load that up. Okay, so if we go ahead and run that, then we can see here our temperature is 21.7. Uh, we're in Irvine, California. Okay, so that autom that obviously did not, um, that obviously is giving us the Celsius here. So let's go ahead and fix that. So what we can do is we can invoke this Fahrenheit And obviously these need these need action listeners. So let's go ahead and let's go to our view. And what we can do here is on our, I'm gonna pull this back over. Okay, so on our uh, frame controls for this radio F, we're going to give it a command is equal to self.controller dot um, update GUI because this will first update the value and then it'll update the GUI. So we update the value and then we update the GUI. And the GUI will use the updated value here to uh, to get that done. And the reason why this is wrong is this should be dot get. So if self dot var units dot get, just like that. So, okay. And same thing here. So for our radio C uh, command is equal to self dot controller dot um, update GUI. Uh, this controller is going to be something that is passed into the to the init function of our view class. So so we want to bring that in just like that. And we don't want to import it because that would cause circular imports. But um, eventually when it all runs, you know, it's not going to look pretty in the IDE here, but when it all runs, uh, Python will be able to work it all out. So self.controller is equal to controller. And that means when we call in our controller function, uh, when we control this main pass self, just like so. And <clears throat> And actually I'm mistaken. Uh, this self here should not be passed into main, it should be passed into the constructor here. Okie dokie. So that should be looking good. And the last thing that we want to do is, I personally am going to set the, uh, the Fahrenheit button uh, by default. Uh, I want I want Fahrenheit to be clicked by default. So what we can or and you can you can make this different if you want your C your radio C to be uh, clicked by default. But I'm just going to say um, let's see I'm, I'll put it like right here radio F dot invoke just like so. So that'll essentially say that that was clicked um, from the beginning. So if we go ahead and run this here, you can see Fahrenheit is clicked from the beginning. We have a Fahrenheit temperature here and a Celsius here. And if we click Fahrenheit or Celsius, 
uh, this stuff changes. So now let's go ahead and make a little change to our data here so that we actually get the degree symbol and either the F or the C. So I believe the way that we can do that is if we go to our weather.py and we go to our uh, get current temp Celsius. So this is a string and then we can say plus and then we just need to type in the Unicode value for the degree symbol, which is U for Unicode, zero, zero, capital B, zero, could be a lowercase b, whatever you want. And then we can just write a little F right there. And then for the uh, for the Celsius, it's pretty similar, uh, slash U, uh, zero, zero, B, zero, for the degree symbol and C. And we'll go ahead and copy that for the feels like down here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and run that and see how it looks. All right, so there we go. We have degrees Fahrenheit uh, and then degrees Celsius. Fantastic. And uh, if we even want, let's go ahead and fix this wind speed here to be miles per hour. So on this wind speed here, we'll just plus miles per hour. Check that out right there. Okay, looking good to me. So, and so the last thing to do here is to write the, uh, the function for our search button. So let's go ahead and go to our controller and this handle search button, it's going to be pretty easy. So we'll just say location and it's going to be equal to self.view dot bar search dot get so that'll get a string and we'll say as long as that location uh, is not equal to an empty string then our self dot weather is equal to uh, a new weather object we could just call the fetch on our current one but you know I like this I think I like this a little better. So weather um, with that new location, just like so. And then update. So anytime we search, we want to update the GUI. Good, and so now for our view, we're going to go to frame search bar and under our button search, we just want to add a command that is equal to self.controller dot, what did we call that? I already forgot. Handle button search, just like so. And actually what I think what I want to do is up here in our init function, I want to bind, we're gonna do this self.bind. And what we can do is we can bind a certain action such as a key click or a or a mouse click, or say we hit the enter button uh, to do something. So we'll say return and okay, actually we need to move this underneath that. Okay, and you'll see why in a second. So when the return key or the enter key is pressed, we are going to call self.controller dot uh, handle button search. So basically, uh, we'll be able to um, press the search button by pressing the enter key. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that out here. So if I want to search, for example, for New York, I can search that, and it'll give us uh, the it'll give us the updated information. So that's pretty cool. And I could also do by zip code. Here's a town in New York. And there you go, we get uh, the weather for there. Now, there is one issue. What if this returns no answers? Um, the, the program kind of freaks out. You can see we get a little error message down here. And so that's where, um, so what's happening here is in our weather, it's returning um, a URL that, that looks just like, or it's returning a, a JSON document that looks just like this. It's pretty much, it's got it, it's got some stuff in there. It doesn't really matter what's in there, but it has a uh, an item called error. So what we want to do in our controllers when we update GUI 
is we will say if error not in self dot weather dot weather data. So basically, as long as there is no error. So let's go ahead and test that. And I think this should work. So if we type a a a a, nothing should happen. And what happened there? We press the enter button. Okay, so we press the enter button. It says one positional argument. Uh, it was. It takes one positional argument, but two are given. Oh, okay, I know what we need to do. So because it's also bound to the enter key, we just need to say the event. Uh, it's, it's able to pass in an event. So now let's go ahead and try this one more time. And if we type in one, two, three, four, five. Oh, obviously, okay, that worked. But A, 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 A. And nothing, nothing will happen. There's no... There's no uh, error message down there. And you could ignore this error message that it pops up with automatically. I don't really know why that's generated, but it doesn't affect anything. So there we go. So there is our uh, controller for the GUI that'll change everything up. And in the next video, we are going to write some code so that we can predict, uh, we can get, we can fill in some search suggestions. If you like this video, uh, drop a like and I will catch you in the next one.